morning everyone and well almost noon so noon everyone um it's been a not too bad of a night uh, i have to keep getting up to pee every like two or three hours but i also have to give a sample every four hours so i have to make sure i'm ready for that um and by sample i mean urine sample that's right my apple juice my self-grown apple juice um the the chemotherapy that they gave me is called methotrexate and um it's like a highlighter yellow. It's really bright yellow and uh, makes my pee really, 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 really yellow. <laughs> it's really funky. In any case, um, they take that sample every four hours to see how the pH levels are in my urine to make sure it's more basic than acidic because the chemo is acidic. And then they just take my blood work to see how I'm responding to it. Um, depending on how I do, if I react the way they want me to. I'll be out of here sometime tomorrow. Um, if not, I have to stay a bit longer, but usually it's a, at least 48 hours from when they start giving me the chemo. So hopefully just another 24 hours to go and I get to go home early, but if not, I'll be in here till Friday. And uh, I've been eating okay. Natalie brought me Subway, um, not the TTC. She brought me a sandwich. And uh, yeah, the smell didn't repulse me, but the smell of the food that they bring here repulses me. I don't know what it is. It's just really pungent. It really hits my nose, and that's what really bothers me. But otherwise, I'm eating okay. Um, I slept all right. A lot of like two hour sleeps, or I guess you could just say two hour naps. Um, and I got up in the middle of the night to go get something to drink. <laughs> and I ran into my nurse, and she said that I should have just called her. But I thought she might be busy, and I was a little bit awake, so I just wanted to grab something for myself, get a little bit of exercise, you know. Um, later on the, in the day, depending on how I'm feeling, we might go out um, into the wild, just for a bit, get some fresh air, and I'll try to edit that video for you guys. Okay, it's a little bit chilly outside. It, I thought it would be nice and warm, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little cold actually. And I should have went to the washroom before we went out. So I got beat now. This didn't work out all that well, I don't think. But that's okay. And you know what? The only thing I wish about these things we have is uh, that it had like a battery indicator. So I like know the time limit that I have before I can come back. Because otherwise, it just runs until it starts beeping like crazy and you're hesitating and you just, you know, shuffle back inside. But. Okay. So, no more chemo. Uh, it was just that one shot for that day. Uh, it is a high dose. Uh, so what they have me on is on hydration, like I mentioned. Filling me up with fluid so I can get rid of all the chemo that's in my body. Flush it all out, pee it all out. My pee is uh, not highlighted uh, yellow anymore. So that means that a good amount of it's out. Of course, there's still some in it. And uh, they wouldn't even let like Natalie or anyone else handle any of my vomit or or like my urinal and stuff like that just because it has chemo in it so it's not safe to handle it without proper equipment which you know makes a lot of sense for it's cool but good reminder sorry about all that gross stuff I'm talking about there this is true documentation you know no faking no hiding just uh, the straight up truth and this guy just ran a ride oh yeah I love drivers nowadays so good so safe so good I love it I love it God does a great place to be you know you guys just uh, enjoy it while you can it's a good thing there's five hospitals around here good thing there's five hospitals down here whatever whatever happens to you get hit in a car crash you hit someone in a car crash you're safe you're you're covered down here so right now we're playing card games and uh, Natalie thinks I'm cheating so she wants to record us playing he is just cheating to make sure that I don't cheat because we were playing Go Fish, and every time she f went to fish, the card I asked for was the card she picked up. So, <laughs> apparently, I'm cheating somehow. I don't know. He is. You can't hack real life games. Yes, you can. Right. Okay. Your turn. Do you have any jacks? Do you have any fives? <laughs> Do you see this? Do you see? I literally just picked this up. You're, you are cheating. 
I'm cheating. Do you have any eights? No. Do you have any queens? No, I don't. You don't? Go <laughs> fish. Are you sure? I'm sure. Show it to the camera. No queens. <laughs> Go do some fishing. Do you have any tents? <laughs> do you see those people? Do you see it? No, you can't oh, have God. it. <laughs> He's cheating. This is not skill. What skill? <laughs> You're cheating. Did you like set this up? No. <laughs> he built the car, by have, the way. I would have to have picked up the tent. Then ask you for it. How can I choreograph when I would pick up the tent and ask you I for it? I don't know. Go. Do you Your have turn. any eights? No. <laughs> I just picked up a tent. <laughs> and you know that because you cheated. No, I know and that. And you put the jack in there. Because I, I had a jack earlier. I asked you for a jack. That means that two jacks are in here. I don't have a jack. But you are asking for one. So you have a jack. The glass jack is in there. Good luck. Do you have any fives? No. <laughs> you have three cards. Why do you keep asking for fives? Because. We're part of the game. Right? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? You're trying to what? Not let me know what kind of cards you have? No. Is that your game? <laughs> do you have any game. jacks? No. Does that mean the game ends? I don't, I don't know. What did I do? No, I, maybe I keep going. I don't because think. then it's does isn't it who has the most? Yeah, when someone runs out. Yeah. So you want to count in? I don't know. I don't play this game. I know. How do you play go fish? Oh, you win. Good job, baby. Let's look at the face of defeat. It's nice and round. <laughs> All right. Go fish sucks. Can I play another one? Do you want to talk about your nice bye? Your goodbye? My best bye? Your best bye? No, I wasn't that good. Bought some hickory sticks for a dollar fifty, and when they were in the vending machine, like okay, they're, they're like over here, right? And you're like, oh, this is, oh, that's huge. I can't wait to go grab it. And then it's like, and hey, hell, look at that. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Luckily, you know, hickory sticks are kind of hard to find. There's only dollar fifty, whatever. Can't penny pinch, especially because pennies aren't in use anymore, and they round up and down, so we can't pinch pennies anymore. Perhaps we did it live. We did do it live. <laughs> Are you trying to use? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> nice try, though. Thank it's you. Not bad. Say good. I appreciate that. So Natalie's leaving me. It was great while it lasted. Um, this is just a bit of a skit for you guys to show you that, you know, we're, we're still... No. She's got to go home. She has work tomorrow. My working girl. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be here. My sister might come by later. I'm not too sure. But uh, I should be okay for the night. Had some donator. Right. Like, I'm not as nauseous as the last type of chemo, but just strong smells repulse me. So I'm trying to take it easy. Eat a bit of a at a time whatever I can handle and yeah we're managing okay <clears throat> hey everyone so the test results came back from my blood test at noon and came just about an hour ago and apparently I'm on track to leave for tomorrow um, that's not for certain though I do have to still get more of the chemotherapy out of my system so a lot of hydrating a lot of peeing and um, yeah, hopefully my kidneys hold up and get all this stuff out and I can leave by tomorrow. In other news, um, like I said, Natalie left, but I've been managing okay. Um, the team here is really, really good. 
Yeah. Although as soon as the food came, oh, so close to letting go. The food here has a really strong scent and it really gets to me. Uh, so I won't be eating any of that stuff. Luckily I still have some food left over and some in the fridge. It's all some snacks to get me through uh, the night. But hopefully if I can leave by tomorrow, I won't have to smell the food all too much. But otherwise the nausea is not as bad as uh, the first chemotherapy. So not too bad. And I think I'm going to end the video here for you guys, uh, for you guys today. Um, not too much else is going to happen today. My sister might come by after her uh, courses. But that's going to be late in the day and I don't want to upload this too late for you guys. So thanks for tuning in again. If you like what you guys see, again, share and subscribe and I always appreciate it. Which reminds me, I should call the uh, Toot Place. They haven't gone back to me yet. I'll call them tomorrow morning. Just to make sure there's some progress on that. I don't know if they just didn't start the order or just not receiving their emails. But we'll give them a call and we're, we'll figure out what is going on with those tukes. If it hasn't started yet, maybe I might change it to like a baseball cap because it is hot outside and I don't even want to wear my toque that I have temporarily. So we'll see. Let me know what you guys think if you'd rather have a like a baseball cap, a snapback, a trucker hat, and we'll see what we can do. Here he is in the daytime. Yeah, you gotta get out of there, don't you? Yeah, whatever you can. <laughs> So, uh, we're just on hydration right now, so I'm allowed to leave the floor, uh, and the floor, uh, while I'm just on hydration. Once I go on chemo, I'm going to be confined to that floor. So, now I really thought it was a good idea to get some fresh air. I'm still a little tired, um, so like my eyes are heavy, and so I'm like squinting because it's so 